traditions and definitions. I'm Kristen. And I'm Carol. And today we're going to talk about funeral superstitions. <gasps> oh. I always say ooh, but ooh. I always feel like ooh, something new. Something new. Okay. So, yes. Funeral superstitions. There, Why do we have them? How did they start? Who started them? Are you trying to talk? talk? Am I, I talking you over are. you? Are all You're right? Okay. Over me. Um. So every culture since the beginning of time mm -hmm. has had some kind of ritual to honor the dead. Yes. The funerals are not a new thing. No. Um, their burial was common mm -hmm. and has been for quite a while Okay, until about 1000 BC when they started cremation. Oh, who decided on cremation? How did that start? Um, ancient Romans did a lot of cremation and would house the remains in columns. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ancient okay. Greeks would build funeral pyres to do cremations on. Mm -hmm. um, it has to be really hot. Yeah. Like, really hot. Like, you need all the wood and all the fire. Mm hmm. All the wood, all the fire. Right. Um, Just throw them in the volcano. I mean, that could, you know. If you were close to one, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Sounds I mean, like there's a good idea. Vesuvius. I mean, it that's that's in the area. I don't know if we're talking about the same time period that it decided to blow up, but you know, yeah. I'm just trying to help. Go. What's next? Um, embalming began in Egypt, mm -hmm. four thousand BC, like many, many moons ago. Many, many moons. It, like they had it down to an art, man. They they, they really did preserve a body for. Long time. However, the traditions that we honor now are primarily Victorian era, fancier, yeah, cuter, nicer. Um, if if there is such a thing, if there is such a thing, I mean, some of it is just weird, like like wearing black. Why is that weird? Why, why do you have to wear black? Because you're not joyful. You're somber. Mm -hmm. You think that's why? Mm -hmm. You think that's why they wear black? That's why I wear black. That is why we wear black now, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm that not is... from then. I'm from now. Right. That In is... case you hadn't noticed. That is true. That is true. I, I, I have, have realized you that you are not 4,000 years old from the Victorian era or, or that to, old. Okay. 200 all right. All right. All right. All right. No, I'm so. not that either. No, no, you are not. Not too bad. I mean, ish. Why black? Queen Victoria. Uh huh. Is the one who started the black. Okay. When her beloved king, Prince Albert, because mm -hmm. you know they didn't get to be kings. No, he was in the can. Yep. Yep. When he died. Yes. She donned the black. Forever. Forever. I don't think she was ever seen mm -hmm. in anything else. Like kind of like the Pope. Once the Pope becomes Pope, he always wears white. In public, he might have you know jeans and t-shirt in private. The Pope is allowed to wear jeans and even in private. I don't know that. I'm I'm fairly certain he needs to have those white robes on. Well, when he's seen in time. public, he has to be in 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 proper mm -hmm. attire. I think it's all the time. I think he can dress as a priest as well. Yeah, if he wants to. Uh uh. If he goes out and works, yes. No. Well, he did. Well, he's acting up. Pope Francis? Mm -hmm. He's acting up. He went out and worked with the poor late I at mean, night. I mean, that is lovely. I'm glad and, he and did he, that. And he wore his priest garb. He didn't wear the Pope garb to draw all that attention. Hmm. I'll bet. I mean, he might have, like, Pope pajamas. Maybe he just likes to wear sweatpants to bed. Who knows? But, you know, when he's out in public. I'm not okay with it. He needs like to be Queen wearing Victoria. those robes He didn't all the ask time. you. I know. Queen Victoria always wore Catholic. black. No, I know you're not, but you're going to fight. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay. Go on. All right. So. Why did she pick black? Because it was somber. 
because it was somber. That, like I said. There were also the color black. You just don't listen to me. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Okay, say it. Uh, that's what I said. And then you turned around and said, you think so? You think so? No, that's not why. But this is why, which is the same thing. It was somber. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. However. Uh-huh. It's also slimming. Is that why she wore it? The color black makes it hard for the spirits to see you. Mm. They can't see it. Black's not really a color, though. It's a tint. Like white. White isn't a color. It's a lack of color. It is. So. Go art. Go art. Anywho. Um, so, anyway, the black. Mm -hmm. It was so you were hidden from the spirit. Of, of course. Your dead loved one. <gasps> Ooh. So that they could move on in peace. Well, what if they didn't want to move on in peace? What if they wanted to stay with you? You're wearing black and that's me. Well, they're just going to, you know, amble around and bump into stuff. And, and that's going to happen. That's why. And, and that's why a wife in the Victorian times, mm -hmm. when she lost her husband, had to dress in black for two years. I don't know why they thought those husbands were going to be roaming around looking for her for, for two, two years. years after they died, but apparently that is what they did. Wow. So they had to hide in black clothes for two years. I think maybe just backdate the death certificate. I mean, black is slimming. I think I'd be okay with it. But I like it, a but, lot of you color. Know, I, yeah, but it can, it, can, it can be hot. You know, if it you're wearing be. it and all, I mean, what if you have to go out and garden and you're out there in the sun and your long sleeves and you're black with your, your veil, veil. <laughs> pass. Just trying to hide from your dead husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she probably had her gloves on, probably the, the whole thing. And she's out there trying to dig tulips and it's just not working for her because exactly. you know what? It's hot. It's hot. Garden suffered. I would have a problem with that. Garden suffered or You'd the be like, widow suffered? Look at here. Mr. Dead Guy. Can you please stay in the house so I can dress different? Go haunt somebody else. I am right. a busy girl. Two years. Two years. Screw that. I mean. What about like dark like, They didn't like, have like a whole lot of faith blue. in their men. Like this. Ooh, this is dark. It's a After different color. The first I bet it would year work. they could start incorporating grays in trends <gasps> on their morning garb. Be still my fucking heart. And the closer you got to the two-year mark, you could add some lavender or white. Oh, do, do ghosts like take attendance? Do they pay attention to that? Like, okay, I see. It's okay, almost two years, and I haven't found the chick yet. This era, mm. they, you know, they kind of thought women couldn't handle anything, right? The men were in control. They were the boss. They. Did all the work. They Decided made all the decisions. You should wear black they, for two years. Yeah. How come when the man died, mm -hmm. the people of this era believed he was like not capable of finding his way around for two solid years without his woman? Well, when it's they probably were because to be so much smarter well, than the woman. he is now out of body. He is now out of his element, so he needs. So Help. the men were smarter as long as they were in their body. As long as they were dead. They weren't. They, they needed, needed help. the woman. Yes. Perfect sense. I think it's great. Perfect sense We've, to we me. Have, we have cracked the code. You, you cracked it. We. We. We have cracked we it. We cracked it. Okay. Well, anyway, so that, yes, that's okay. the black. That's, that's, that's fun. Victoria started it. Curse her. Um, and then people decided... That's a good yeah. idea. Let's wear black when somebody idea. dies. Because when Queen Victoria did anything. Mm, it made news. It made news. Mm -hmm. And she was a trendsetter. I mean, everybody had to do what she was doing. Right on. I love okay. that there were set, like there were set mourning periods depending on the relationship to the person who passed. Oh. If it was a parent, you had to wear your mourning garb for a certain amount of time. If it was a child, a sibling, a friend. They, the they rest were. of my life. Uh -huh. So basically, you really didn't need anything other than black because. At some point, somebody you know is going to croak. Mm -hmm. And you are going to be on the hook for it. Exactly. Black. You're going to have to dress in black so did that they, they can't find Did they you. bury you in black so that maybe you can't go haunt? I know that burying you face down is 
so that you can't find. Did we talk about this? I don't think so. Okay. But and I, I, do, I, um, saw, I saw something. I watched yeah. something with that the other day that, yeah, if they that bury you a, face down, you can't. That was an Indian. Uh-huh. An Indian thing, Romanian thing. Yes. Places yes. where there were vampire beliefs. If you're buried face down, then you can't roll over and find your way out. So yeah. you will dig your way all the way through the center of the mm -hmm. earth and to hell. Where you will stay and burn to death, mm -hmm. even though you're already dead. Even, yeah. Strange. Yeah. Strange. All right, what else? I need to know. Um, when we place the body in a casket. Yes. Okay, and we carry it out. Mm -hmm. It's always feet first. Feet first. Do you know why? This was also established during the Victorian yes, time. Yes, I, I know why, but I can't remember why. It's like why you're why you're buried with your feet facing east, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Anyway, go ahead. So they walk you out feet first, so that you can't get back in. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. You can't look back and decide you want to stay. Oh, but if you're going the other way mm -hmm. and you're going head first, you could always sit up and decide to be alive and go, and go I'm going right to out the here. door. Hmm. Okay. Well, what if you're going feet first and you sit up and decide to not be dead anymore and you look out and you go, huh, I'm going to go out in the parking lot. Then you're out in the parking lot, but you ain't in that building. Yay. Well, if you're dead, but you're not dead, that's a problem. I don't know I what don't... going feet first would, would solve that. I'm going to assume that the Victorians never watched the movie Casper. You're going to assume. <laughs> I don't know why I think that. I'm, I'm, I'm just fairly I'm gonna certain. I'm going to say that they didn't. I'm going to go I'm out just, on a limb. I'm, I'm going to commit to the fact that they have not seen that movie. Yeah. I mean, maybe they did. No, I don't know. But they didn't. If they had. Unless they were dead and decided to not be dead. And then they're just kind of, you know, bumping, bumping around. Years. Yeah. And then they decided to yeah. watch Christina Ricci be. <laughs> That cute little girl but they would know they would know then that ghosts can walk through walls nope nope they wouldn't understand they would be scared they would be they scared. would run for their lives their dead little they lives were all kinds of certain that they couldn't get back in if things were done a certain done way a certain way it's like a spell mm -hmm. it's like okay once you do all of these things then you get your promotion to supervisor or you get to be you know, right. you have to you have to jump through the hoops. You so the dead to. people have to jump through hoops. The live Feet people first. have to jump through the hoops with the dead body. <sighs> so they have to jump rope with it because that would Probably, be a thing. Probably, I'm sure. I mean, you know, if, if they said, somebody said they had to, I'm sure people would be like, well, damn. Okay, let's get out here. Jump. Jump. If somebody said to do it, they would do it. They'd probably they wear would, their and black. And then they would come up with a reason for it. Yes. That it would mean that... Um, you have now given them a headache with all of the jumping, and now they don't want to come back. Right. Now, now they're, they're mad. Now they're done. Yep. That's how we keep the dead people mm -hmm. in. We, we, we should give them a good shake. And they're like, you know what? I'm not coming back. Forget it. I never did like to jump rope anyway. I mean, I love to jump rope. That's me, though. I Are you not did. a jump roper? I, I haven't jumped rope in years. I use, did. You want to use my jump rope? It's pink. Do you have a pink one? I do. I don't know. I'm old and fat. Oh, my God. I'm so I much older than you. I don't think old fat people should be jumping <sighs> the ropes. You're such a tiny baby. Shut up. I jump rope. There are the rolls on my body that clap for me if I move too fast. Which shut is up. nice. Shut I up. like the encouragement. No, you shut up. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> So, anywho. Anywho. Okay. Feet first. Feet now first. what? You what know, else? Feet first. So that if the body were to set up, it'll just going right out the door. Off into the future of nothing. Okay. That hole in the ground that's got my name on it. Mm -hmm. All right. It was important to know the time of death. Just like it is now for death certificates. Okay. I don't know. Is that why they stopped the clock? They would stop the clock. Okay. It was also a symbol of time stopping for that person. That person's time had stopped. It was convenience for the medical examiner that oh. the clocks were stopped mm -hmm. so that they could then tell, tell on what their own time. They, they could look at the stopped clock mm -hmm. and decide, hey, that thing is right twice a day. Right. Hey, how about it? So as far as 
really stopping the clock, mm -hmm. it was to prevent bad luck for the living. I don't understand why. Why I would mean, the it clock didn't stop be bad time. luck? N no, time it didn't. Time was still moving. We're even still spinning out there in, in space. Or for the flat earthers, we're still sitting here like this. That's right. The sun. Going into, you know, the thing. The thing. So I know I can't wrap my head around that one. And I couldn't no, really somebody, find anything that said why. Somebody I, came up with it and decided, you know what? This mm -hmm. sounds reasonable. It does. Let's do this. It sounds reasonable. That is sounds not something we practice reasonable. today. However, no. a time of death is still important today. It is. Knowing the yep. exact time. Yep. Um. Keeping mementos from the dead as remembrance was a Victorian thing. Are you supposed to or not supposed you to? You were supposed to. Okay, good. Prior to this, mm -hmm. it was common in a lot of cultures to bury the person with their possessions. Mm. Like the Indian mounds. Mm -hmm. So the funeral possessions started in the Victorian era primarily with rich people. Oh. Or the wealthy or so nobility. You can show them off. Uh huh. Mm, look how rich we are. So we're you dead, know, but we're rich. You're dead. You've just died. Yes. You still get to show your notoriety one last time. Is this when they did they hire whalers back in this time? They did hire whalers back in this time. Yep. Yep. To show how rich you were. Uh -huh. See if you could afford if you could afford seventeen whalers. Well. They're out there crying and throwing themselves sure. on your yes. casket and really putting on a show when your own family probably doesn't have that much. <laughs> they, that's why. I mean, they might have. Yes. It was during the, which was kind of pre-Victorian era, but during the Black Plague oh. is when established cemeteries became common in oh. England or the UK. What'd they do with people before that? They buried them. Just hither and nigh. Hither and nigh on your property. There's a, there's a tree. We'll put uh -huh. you under that. Yeah, I imagine the stuff that people are probably still finding. Mm -hmm. The six feet deep began at this time, mm -hmm. too. And you can. So you could. Still plant your crops. Right. Still plant your crops, but also for not letting those germs come up. They couldn't travel that far. Sure. Germs can't go six sure. feet. Well, that's like in New Orleans when it, when, it, when it floods and you've got stuff floating down yeah. the causeway. That's that's why they're all buried above, above ground, ground because they could get up six feet. So. Right. Well, well, then it's just easier for you. I mean, if you're on top and it floods, you're going to, I mean, you're going for a ride. If you're all the way down, you may not. I, one of the folks I work with um, that has developmental disabilities. His mother passed away, and we went to, I took him to her memorial. Mm -hmm. um, and that's afterwards when we got home, he asked me if his mama made it to heaven. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, she made it to heaven. He's like, oh, okay, did she go in that boat? Which was the casket he had viewed her in. Why was she in that boat? She needed a ride. They carried her there. <laughs> it was like, okay, that makes sense to him. Yep. And then he just went on about his uh -huh. day. Very yep. good. Yep. He associated the casket with a boat. And I mean, that works. So his mama made it to heaven on a boat. On a boat. Very, very, very Viking. I know. I like it. No, she yes. was one of the most amazing people I have ever met in my entire life. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that she died. Me too. But she loved that man. She was the best mama. She was the mama I hope to be one day. Aw. So, anyway, that was okay. a side note. Yes, yes. Sidebar, now we're Sidebar, back. Sidebar, now we're back. To? Um, to the burial cemeteries. Okay. So, it was a, more of a safety and cleanliness thing. Oh, for slap you mm -hmm. in the ground. So, they moved to the burial sites outside of city limits especially in highly populated places. Smart. And had an established area for bodies to go. Okay. They were six feet deep. 
to prevent germs from coming up to the surface. And so six feet deep, we buried deep mm -hmm. prior to this because we were burying willy-nilly. Mm -hmm. Just wherever. Wherever, on your property, primarily. Um, and that was to, whenever you plow and stuff, you they're deep yeah, enough, you they're not going to come back yeah. up. With yeah, it yeah, 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 and become yeah. part of the you. crops and the harvest. Scary. I mean, what about burying them at sea? That was a Viking. Oh, well, that's also navy. And yes, yeah. I mean, they couldn't keep this dead body on the boat. Everybody would become sick and such. That is true. How do they know that the water's deep enough that it's not going to wash ashore? They don't. They probably weighed it down pretty good, but at the same time. Hmm. Do they keep track of where they've buried people at sea? I don't know. Do they? I didn't look into burial at sea at all. No, that's fine. We're just um, talking and I'm thinking of things like yeah, I do. Just because I kind of focused this on our funeral traditions. Got gotcha. you. Which primarily stem from the Victorian era. Cool. They were, they were serious about their funerals. Um, so back to the yes. keeping a memento. The Victorians were serious about it. Like mm -hmm. they wanted to hold on to their loved one forever. Yes. So hair was the easiest way to do that. Sure. Not necessarily their possessions, but they would keep locks of hair. Yeah. Then they would have the locks of hair made into things, jewelry that they would wear. See, I don't um, really like that. I know people are like, oh, here, look, I took these ashes and now I have this necklace. Mm -hmm. I kept as much stuff from my brother as I possibly could, but mm -hmm. he lived in Vermont and I was in Oklahoma and our home was in Iowa. So it was hard. What I have is what I have. Yep. And that stems from this Victorian tradition of keeping a piece. Mm -hmm. They would use the hair as thread to weave into, to embroider into tapestries and okay, home decor. That I could kind of get on board with. Um, that's not too, that's not too creepy. Maybe not. I don't think so. Yeah, I think yeah. it's okay. Yeah. The I mean, jewelry, we, we, we have We have dog hair all over the place. So, oh, you know, true. when you vacuum and mm -hmm. you know, then you're like, oh, look at all this. Yeah, that's true. Um, but jewelry was a big thing. I'll bet. Like making rope for necklaces and bracelets and rings out of hair from a deceased loved one was huge. People made stuff out of skin, too. They did. It wasn't as common. No, thank God. But still, yeah. ew, who would be like, hey, let's leather that up and I'll make a pair of shoes. Disgusting. Not me. No, not me. I mean, I did try to have her stuffed, but. Oh, that's because she's your sister and you can do that. No, you, you can't. Well, there you, are rules. You can try. You, can you have, have more stuff. right to try to do that than I would have. Flowers. Setting them out. Is what we do now as a mm -hmm. memorial. During the Victorian era, they planted. Actually, they didn't plant them. They waited to see what happened. Oh, to see if you came back? Well, if flowers grew where you were buried, it meant you were a good person and you had gone to heaven. Oh. If weeds grew. <sighs> yeah. Well, the, who decides what weeds are? I mean, a lot, I mean of people, a lot of people like weeds. That is, I love weeds. I know. I love weeds You and your lot. dandelions. I love dandelions. They mm -hmm. are very beneficial. Thistle, white clover, that, all of that stuff is important. Well, yes, of course. So, you know, I don't know who, who made the decision if it was a flower or a weed, but there was somebody. God created all. Of the foliage. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really judgmental to decide that, you know what, this is a weed and you went to hell. I, I maybe, do maybe, too. maybe God is very pleased with you and so he gave you the dandelions. That's right. So little deer and woodland animals will come and visit your mm -hmm. grave. But that tradition started based off that belief. Okay. So now we put flowers on a grave so that the world knows you, that the you're, person you're buried not there burning in hell was a good person. Okay. I thought it was just be pretty. And there's that. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Another thing that started with the Victorians was a dinner for the family. Mm. After the funeral. Afterwards, we can hang out and, and yeah, just so you guys can and talk. Eat. And it's pretty much the same then as it is now. Mm -hmm. so, there was communion. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> the Eucharist. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I didn't know where we were going, but it's like, uh, just spit some words out and we'll get yes, it. Yes, we'll, we'll get, get there eventually. Communion. Yeah, so communion. It kind of started when somebody died, you did a communion. Took communion. To the communion in all churches or just Catholic yeah. church Catholic uh, church is big it, on it yeah it started with the Catholics and kind of spread okay out um it evolved into the family I see dinner I see and that is where I got with the Victorian influences on our modern funerals awesome they interesting also, I mean they did a lot of extra things that we don't necessarily Sometimes. do now closing windows oh so that, covering the mirror you know, covering the mirror so that ripping the, your clothes so you know, you're well you're you're not to care about your appearance that and you don't want the soul trapped in the glass yes or the mirror because if they can see their reflection well they're dead what if you can see their reflection once again they didn't watch casper if they had watched Casper, they would know that ghosts why is can't it that you see don't, their reflection. Why is it that they wouldn't wear their shoes? Was that another vanity thing that you're not supposed to care? It was something they to do would, with leather. That I don't know. I know that it was common practice after the burial that to means, take the shoes off outside so that cemetery dirt doesn't, doesn't come in the house. house. It might be. Maybe it's Jewish that they... They don't wear their shoes. Maybe not. I'm trying to think. I'll have to ask. That's them. not one I know. I'll have so. to ask my one Jewish friend. You one Jewish? <laughs> yeah, I have one Jewish friend. See yeah. what she says. Because I feel like, I feel like leather shoes are something. There's something. It's a Jewish. Leather footwear may not be worn. During bereavement is symbolic. Uh, personal. Now we need the next word. Mm-hmm. Personal law. Um, the wearing of soft shoes during bereavement is symbolic of personal mortification and a disregard of vanity and comfort in order to better concentrate on the deeper meaning of life. Thus, the prophet Ezekiel is told to remove his shoes while he is mourning. This act symbolizes for the Jew a formal acceptance of mourning. I knew it was something. I had never heard that. I don't know much about Jewish culture. I know a little bit about a lot of shit. I do. I, I, you know, yeah, yeah. I know a little bit about a lot of things, but. Well, that's a lot of cool stuff to know. It was. We don't do all of these things anymore. I wonder when that stopped. People got lazy or they're like, eh, just don't feel like covering the mirror this time. No, I'm pretty sure they saw Casper and they knew that. They didn't see Casper. They it, knew that the I'm dead surprised that you have were... seen Casper. You don't see any movies. I don't, but I, I was little when it came out. You were little when a lot of movies came out, and you still haven't watched them. That is true. Don't try to shove the blame. That is true. I've never been much on movies. I don't know why. What's wrong with you? It takes a lot of concentration and sitting still. <sighs> Two things I'm not that Look at you at. sitting still right here. You look see, at all... I'm fidgeting right now. So am I. Who cares? So are they. They're watching us. Like it's Sitting amazing. there fidgeting and scratching. and They're watching us like we're on TV. We kind of are. Kind of. It's of our own making, though. But mm -hmm. Do we have anything else? Nope. All right. Nope. That was, I mean, lots of very interesting customs that didn't carry over because we watched the movie Casper and realized lazy. it was. And we decided we didn't want to do this. That's what it is. Death, uh, what is it? Memento mori, where they take a picture of the dead body. Was yeah, it my my dad's family was big on doing mm -hmm. that, and I'm just like, why are you taking? Well, but when that started was right when the camera was first coming out. Sure, and, but you know, the back in the and 80s and 90s stuff. when I was a kid, I mean, you don't need to stop it, icky. Poop. You don't necessarily need to, but it was. Yuck. Tradition. I mean, it started it's as... Not a, it's not a good tradition. We're never going to get to see this person again, and 
pictures and photographs weren't maybe easily. Just, maybe just hold it in your mind. I can, I can mm. look right now and see what my grandma looked like. I didn't need a picture of her deceased. I, I don't want a picture of anybody deceased either, mm -hmm. but... See, then you're on Team Carol for this. And let's am. just call it what it is. I am. Gross. Don't take pictures of dead people. Unless you, like, work for the police department. You know, if you're doing that kind of thing. But that's not at a funeral. No, no. No. Viewing the dead body was is a Victorian. Like, Ooh. that final walk Isn't that supposed to be bad luck? To, to see be a dead person? Not is that Indian? in the Victorian. Okay, that might be Indian. It could be a native. Not a native spirit. I'll have to. I'll look into that one. Do because there do, might be because I know there's, do, there's 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 some that you know you're not to look on. Yeah, as far unless as like, you're unless you're like the designated right dead person looker on her. The natives, they, what, it's so vast as far as traditions For because sure. there's so many different tribes and different beliefs and um that would that would be like two years worth of episodes going through all of those. <laughs> Because we'll each get tribe on is it. different. We need um, to know. Victorians, however, they would sit up with the body. Oh, it would yeah, be on display be for a couple of days in your living room, chilling, relaxing, hopefully not messing with anything. That's why people sat up with them to make sure they didn't get up and mm -hmm. bump around the house. You know, run off. Ooh, make scary <laughs> ghost noises. Um, we don't want that. That but, ain't cool. That final view at the end of a service is mm -hmm. that Victorian. Yeah, when they, some, mm -hmm. I mean, some they close the casket and walk it out past you. Yeah. Some you walk past it. And that depends, depends. Like for it now, it depends on the personal preference. Yeah. The person that is deceased, if we knew their wishes or if it's the family, was I just can't handle one more look? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, Don't look. However, in the Victorian thing, you looked at it all the days long, all the dead bodies all you could the, find. Yes. Until walk they around. were in the ground. Um, a final kiss was a big thing. Like you kissed no. the body when you walked by it. Yes, I do. I do recall that. You're right there. Which, I mean, I, maybe when I'm dead, I won't care right now. Don't if you me. walk past me, feel free not to kiss my head. Mm, yep. Let's I'm just okay pass. with it. Let's just We're move gonna on. Pass. Exactly. When my grandma died, I, 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 you rubbed her arm? She had, a, she had a shirt, long oh. sleeve. And I, I, her she was a lovely little lady. I kissed my grandma too. I did not. I kissed my full false head too. I did not. But they died a long time ago. My one grandma lived until she died just a couple of years ago. My, she was the last. When my, my grandma died, we were at the viewing, which is a mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Victorian thing. Um, anyway, my youngest daughter was three. It walked up and said, hi, Grandma, and slapped her on the face. Like, oh, that. Did it wake her up? It didn't. Great. It didn't wake her up. Marvelous. Of course, this is also the child who, while we were staying with Grandma during her final weeks, and, you know, I was very open with my kids. We're here because Grandma is dying. Mm -hmm. You know, we, there's, we're, we're going to take care of her because Grandpa can't. He was in the hospital. And right. Grandma's dying, and we're here they to take care of her. They died very close to each other, did they not? Two months to the day apart. Right. Um, I remember that. So, Ellie, we would just be playing, and then all of a sudden go, oh, wait a minute. I think Grandma got dead. And she would run into Grandma's bedroom and ask her, uh, Grandma, did you get dead yet? And my grandma would laugh hysterically and tell her yes every time. <laughs> <laughs> would you quit me? It's so weird. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my no, goodness. Grandma would laugh and tell her and then go for her just for fun. Just for fun. Just make the dead face. Uh-huh. So my, oh my kids God. are going to be all kinds of messed up about death. And... <sighs> no, they'll tell that story and they'll mm -hmm. laugh and their little friends will go. Hey, your family's yeah. weird. You guys are gross. <laughs> That's all we got. That is. That is all it. We got good stories. Interesting shit. I promise I'm a good parent. But yeah. Whatever. Yeah. It happens. Kids are weird. A little bit. Sometimes. So, all right. You guys come back on Tuesdays for superstitions and Saturdays for Am I the Asshole? Right on.
Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss anything. You don't want to miss anything. Do it. You? Nope. She loves you. I do. She does. Mm -hmm. I have a fondness. She does.